up Spiller Nation? It's me, Light Spiller. I'm back to do another video. This video, I wanted to talk about the aftermath of No Man's Sky and kind of get into my feelings, my thoughts about everything. It's been out since August 9th, a little over three weeks now, fastly approaching a month. And I know it's easy to jump on the bandwagon of bashing the game, of going in on the title. But I had my suspicions about the game and the thing is what people don't realize is that I'm the type of person, I like to analyze a video game from all points if possible and try to take in as much as, can, as much as I can before I purchase it. Some stuff is an instant purchase and there's no need to even go in this long discussion. It's just an instant buy for me. Like God of War series of course or Ratchet and Clank or Jack and Dexter, um, Grand Theft Auto. Most of these titles I don't even have to think about. But when it's a new IP, I like to take everything in. So really just looking back what I initially thought, just like with Watch Dogs, um, the whole No Man's Sky thing took me back to that first point of just making me feel like I was getting this experience that ultimately I felt like I'm not going to end up getting. And so that kind of put me at a stray and it put me at a distance to where I didn't want it. And so in the beginning, I was mesmerized. I was sold off with the idea. So after this whole aftermath of everything that's been said and done, my suspicions was right. You know, I know there are people, there is a small community of those who say they love it, they've enjoyed it, and they really are having a great time. But people that are realistic, they are being honest, they're being open about their experience. They say they enjoy the title, but it crashed several times overwhelming amount of number of people are asking for refunds so that puts the company in a, in a certain position because it's still a new company so you're trying to break even with your first title anyway or go over and make promises more money. that were made and i think initially it was conceptualized you know as, as far as the conception and the idea of bringing all that stuff together and saying yeah we can put this into the video game but then when you actually had to sit down and put those things into the video game and make it work without it being buggy, without it breaking down, without it crashing, that was a whole nother thing. So I think that's what they did. They they bit off more than they could chew. And so that's the whole situation that we're looking at right now. Therefore, you got the people asking for your refunds. Therefore, big decline in sales because the week to week sales should be steadily going down there shouldn't be week one and then boom week two down here somewhere with the steam sales with the ps4 sales and all kinds of mayhem so i don't know at this point what to think should i just wait for a price drop i don't even know if i want that and i know people are flooding me with all these ideas and i just let them know look honestly i'm not at a good position just because of the things i've seen the things i've heard the stuff i watched people give their long extended review of the game not just saying oh i played the first level and i hated it i mean played it from beginning to end and all the crashes live crashes that i've watched and all kinds of just disappointment all over the place even sony's giving uh refunds which is really odd so i don't know man i, I definitely am at the position that i'm just gonna stay as far away from this game as possible because it sounds like a clusterfuck but other than that, I'm Life Spiller, and I'm out.